Hey everyone, in this video we'll be learning about .NET MAUI uh, visibility of each cell item in a collection view using data triggers. So in order to learn more about uh, data, data triggers, what we actually need to do is uh, we'll just go through the Microsoft Learn where we'll learn about more things about triggers, what it is and how it really works. And in this video, I'll just uh, uh, explain more regarding the data triggers. What actually happens is whenever uh, some of the property like uh, from the API if we get uh, some type of false for each individual cell Then what we actually need to do is we are going to use a data uh, triggers to uh, disable the uh, height of the uh, whole individual cell that means two or zero okay so in order to do that i'll just show it to you how it uh, really works so this is a basic collection view and here in the collection view what we are actually going to do is we are going to bind a list of item from the view model that means mbvm binding okay so this is a grid item uh, layout which has vertical item spacing and i have been uh, telling about my uh, like collection i have made lots of videos regarding collection view and all the features that are uh, really important uh, regarding the dot net maui collection uh, views okay whenever you are doing a uh, uh, real life applications so uh, what we actually need to do is like we are going to bind name and age okay name is and is i is uh, item is visible property okay so for the specific grid and uh, these three items are going to be delivered from the api or from the database too okay and um, what we actually need to do over here is uh, for the uh, like uh, for the label as well as is binding we know that for previously and for the grid dot triggers so this is how the uh, grid dot triggers works so that means if uh, it, it targets the grid anyway okay and then if the property is visible equals false if that whole grid visibility is set to false that means which is delivered by this statement okay so this grid statement is provided by the api okay and if that is visible property of that grid is false then height of that specific grid is zero that means we are going to hide that item from the here okay so there is some space so as of now there is a bug in dotnet mao but in future i think uh later uh, like dotnet uh, mao team is going to look uh, into this in more details regarding the height of that individual uh, grid inside the collection view when it were is set to zero uh, using the data triggers okay so what we actually need to do over here is main page is binded with the main page view model anyway okay so that is a bindable object okay and uh, we are going to encapsulate means uh, inherit the bindable object for our property chains so this is the people items uh, that gets into the ma main page.xaml this is the model okay you can just separate it out inside outside over here in the uh, folder and in a, inherit it to say mbvm okay so anyway so whenever the main page view model gets the signal to initiate so it will initiate the api database and you can see now uh, we are going to initialize the api means uh, uh, that if we are going to get the data okay from the api then we should get the data in the form of like this way okay like uh, a name is that gets binded to the ui and along with that there is a property name as item is visible property okay so this item is visible property is also set over here and if that visibility equals to false if alice visibility equals to false then it is going to get hidden okay so you uh, you can see the alice uh, item is uh, the visibility is false so this uh, item is visible property is going to be sent to this uh, this property and from there the data trigger is going to trigger it okay if that um, visible property of that specific grid is false then height request is set to zero so that's all so that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for our next tutorials